Chairman of the board. Chairman. The sun is shining on us. Chairman of the board. Chairman of the board. Who's that guy in the wheelchair? Look at him laughing it up. Drinking it up. Where are they? Where are they? Let's take a look. Meyer Lansky. That's the person that we read about earlier in the previous card, right? Uh, the Jewish mobster in the United States. Meyer Lansky, the father of white collar crime. Meyer Lansky was the mob's financial wizard. Born Meyer Schuchul. Jensky in 1902 in Poland. Lansky came to the US at age nine and by 1921 was uh, lefitting stolen refitting stolen cars and bootlegging liqueur. He soon entered the heroin business. In 1931, Lansky became, became partners with Lucky Luciano and during Luciano's incarceration from 1936 to 1946, he oversaw syndicate operations. After gaining Luciano's release, Lansky reorganized World War II in inter inter interrupted heroin business and set up a chain of banks in Southern Florida, the Caribbean and Switzerland to launder drug profits. Lansky's investments associated in these banks included CIA agents, other drug lords, billionaire eccentrics, and Republican Party bigwigs. The syndicate's based base of operations was Cuba. Lansky had used the Caribbean as a smuggling base since 1920s when he cut deals with uh, Bohemian. Uh, Bahamian and Cuban Cuban officials to ship bootleg rum to the US after 1933 he and Cuban strongman full Jinko Batista ooh, Batista were partners in several Havana hotels and casinos when Fidel Castro overthrew Batista and kicked out the syndicate Lansky oversaw the mobs resettlement in the gambling and resort paradises of Las Vegas and Bahamas. Luciano died in 1962 and Lansky assigned his Havana Lieutenant Santos Traficanta Jr. to run the heroin business. In 1965, Lansky sent his Swiss banker courier John Pullman to Hong Kong Settling the, setting the stage for traffickants 1968 meeting in Hong Kong and Saigon with Chinese heroin suppliers. Near heroin resources created by the U.S. war in Laos had made it necessary to deal with Corsican middlemen. The future disruption of the French connection was already in the works. Wow, wow, wow. And that's why the United States government still has such a hard on for Cuba right and they consider the Cuban Revolution to be uh, one of the biggest threats to the United States because it cut into their main port of drug money with the mafias of the world right that's why Castro is so hated Very cool. That's card number nine. 